also found, according to every legitimate outlet on the internet, 1,000 bottles of baby oil. <laughs> What are what are you possibly doing with 1,000 bottles of baby oil, gang? Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Yo! Yo, yo, yo. Yo! yo. yo we, we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. And, uh, no, he talking you ain't like never that, really dude. party, you know what I'm saying? Never, it was party. He never really partied. Oh, okay. Well, I get it, Diddy. Brother, what? Don't come to me, did you see? You see? You see this? You gonna you gonna be on the floor, bro? For real, for real. Like I ain't playing game, like for real, for real. Diddy, 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 man. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy FSD coming back with another video, and today we got the baby oil bandit himself, P Diddy, bro. Now y'all know all the stuff that been going on with P Diddy, bro. This man here, dog. <sighs> I don't know what to say at this point. With I, I didn't made I didn't made about three, three videos on this man. I think two, two or three videos on this man, and nothing still haven't changed yet, bro. Man, bro, I guess he's just too deep in, bro. He didn't did so much, and it's all starting to really catch up to his ass, bro. For real, for real. Like, did you? I don't know, bro. You one of those for sure, for sure. But we about to get straight into this video, man. We got another video by my dog Maury, bro. Y'all know how you get down. If y'all watch my videos and shout out to y'all, man, y'all been showing so much love on the recent videos. I got a video damn near about to touch 4K. That's how y'all feeling. I'm about to keep the bangers coming, man. Shout out to y'all who be showing love. Man, one of y'all motherfuckers made my morning, though. I ain't gonna lie. Somebody said, I love your channel. And that's that's just one comment. Like, I be I be seeing the love, bro. Shout out to y'all, bro. Y'all be showing love. But let's get it, though. I ain't about to do too much. All right, man. So since everybody in their mother been wanting me to talk about this story regarding Diddy being raided by the FBI, where they found not only multiple metric tons of lubricant, of which we all already know what he was doing with, but they also found, according to every legitimate outlet on the internet, 1,000 bottles of baby oil. <laughs> This nigga just, bruh, Diddy, what is wrong with you, gang? What the fuck is wrong, bro? Diddy, one thousand bottles. What are what are you possibly doing with one thousand bottles of baby oil, gang? Really think about that, like, what? <sighs> oh my gosh, bro, I'm tired, bro. I don't. It's it's to the point now, Diddy. You need your ass beat, bruh. Fuck, don't bring that nigga to jail, bruh. Bring that nigga to... Br put that nigga in the UFC cage, bruh. Against Giant Bones Jones. And just let just give Giant Bones Jones 12 rounds with this nigga. Wait. Pause. No ditty. That was kind of crazy. But, yeah, 12 rounds with, with Giant Bones Jones. 10 minute, 10 minute rounds. And let that... Let Giant Bones Jones... Beat the piss out Diddy, bro, because something is wrong with you, Diddy. Like, for real, for real. Like, bro, somebody need to really, really, like, beat the fuck. Because, brother, what are you doing, gang? You're a billionaire. Why is... Oh, my gosh, dog. For... Bro, I... Now all I gotta say is Who in their right mind would buy that many bottles of baby oil And what would you be doing with all of that stuff I mean I get it Some people like to buy in bulk They like massive discounts They like to get as much savings as possible When buying their personal favorite item But this right here And what Diddy apparently had planned with all these bottles Is just completely indefensible I I'm sorry like Apparently this man was Johnson & Johnson's number one Brother. customer This man was out here sending baby oil stock to the moon bro was out here acting like the ambassador of slip and slide records bro was out here hosting Brother. these massive sex parties where he was calling them freak offs and i can only imagine Literally, this man bro. was walking around with two or three or four baby bottles in hand each ready to pull up at any moment's notice Brother, and super Diddy, you really must be stopped bro that is crazy bro like you bro this nigga damn that took all the baby oil companies out of business brother like that's how like what are you possibly doing with these with these baby oils game like it's something about you we don't know about bro you definitely is like you 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 another species bro you can't be human dog 
because your mindset is on some real crazy psychotic shit like i don't even think drugs could do that to you how crazy you is diddy you you a crazy man bro Somebody need to beat the piss out Diddy though, bro. I ain't lying, son. I ain't even for the violence, bro. I'ma chill, you know, laid back. But that guy, bro. Then you, then you, you beating on women, man, bro. And anybody with baby oil who needed it, like, bro, this man apparently was the world's freakiest billionaire. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Would you like a reminder? Yeah, sure. Play some. Hey, play. hey yo, listen, yo, I, I love it all. I love it all, man. I yeah. like when you like this, daddy. Yeah, yeah, when you put my bag Daddy, daddy I like when you, oh, when you right scrambling here, right and scraping for no, no, no. shit. Bruh, oh my gosh, dog. Diddy, diddy, diddy. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey yo, hey yo, what what is? You like it when he's scrambling like that? Daddy, when you put my Daddy I like when you, oh, when you right scrambling here, right and right scraping for no, shit. No, no, no. Scrambling and scraping, did he? What is he scrambling and scra scraping for, gang? What is going on? Like what, bro? Y'all better stay away from Diddy, bro. I would hate to see y'all boys get uh, diddled, bro. I would hate to see y'all get diddled. Brother, this nigga Pete Diddle is losing his biddle. This nigga Pete Diddle is losing his spittle. This nigga Pete Dizzle moving his dizzle. This nigga Pete Dizzle. This nigga Pete Diddle will be tripping off them visuals. That was you. Scrambling. <laughs> <laughs> what? He said, I like when you do it like that, daddy. When you're scrambling and scraping for shit. I like how this man is just completely confused, befuddled, acting flabbergasted and discombobulated as hell as if he didn't know he had no recollection of what he said that night. Did he? Need Charlemagne remind you? Scrambling and scraping for shit. <laughs> bro, bro trying to act hey. confused. <laughs> nah. Bro, this kid died, bro. I'm sorry. Whatever this man is being accused of the feds of doing, he did that shit. Definitely. Apparently, at these freak offs, I heard through multiple articles and streams that turn he around. was coercing. Bro, Drewski, turn around, bro. That man behind you is a villain, gang. Turn around. And he taking a shot? Oh, my gosh. Don't tell me, did he? Oh, come on. Did he then got Drewski, bro? Did he then, man? Did he then? He, didn't, he drinking some Diddy juice, bro? Diddy Juice is insane, bro. What Diddy behind you? Oh my gosh, bro. They do People it. blackmailing them into doing particular activities that they necessarily didn't want to do. And certain individuals had trains ran on them against oh, their will. Shit. A few male individuals were forced to interact with ladies of the night oh. again. Bruh, I lie. Pray for Jerusky, bro. Pray for Jerusky, bro. Because I ain't going to lie. You in the sticky situation right now, bro. He bought the bruh. You done drunk some of that Diddy juice. Now he bought the he bought to gather up some baby oil and <sighs> you gonna have to drop them draws, bro. You gonna have to drop them, gang. Cause brother, look at the predicament you in, bro. You ain't leaving Diddy crib, bro. I'm pretty sure Diddy got about six, seven bodyguards standing at his front door, making sure you don't leave it. Like his house is literally probably an escape room, bro. Literally. Like, man, bruh, stay away, bruh. Don't, don't come to me. I ain't lying. Don't come to me. I ain't trying to party. Or what did he would use his power and influence to put people in these particular positions to where he could, like, secretly film them on some Epstein type shit and have that record in his stash as a form of blackmail so that he could now own those people in those activities that he initially forced them or coerced them to do. And anybody participating in these parties are probably shivering and shaking in their boots right now. And the funny thing is, like Epstein, apparently, ladies and gentlemen, Diddy has now been put on suicide watch at the time of this recording. Yes, he's been put on unaliving himself watch, wow. which is highly suspect to me like is the government gonna really use the same strats use the same playbook they use with epstein like do they really expect us to believe that well, if diddy dies tonight that he killed himself and that it was because he was remorseful of his actions or he didn't want to live even if it was in prison <laughs> i mean they gotta come up with better scripts man these motherfucker scripts is just going downhill gang like what bro come on now let's be serious he's not about to do that bro 
Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. I'm proud of you. I love you. Yeah, every time I see this clip, bro, this nigga, bro, Meek, you serious, gang? Then he threw up a gang sign to signify, like, yeah, like, brother. Man, Meek, bro, what did Diddy do to you, bro? I'm listening, bro. Tell me, bro. Come on, gang. Because, like, we got to know at this point, because, brother. What is going on? And I expected better from you, bro. Come on, man. This can't be the, I used to pray for times like this, the rhyme like this, where I had to grind like that and shine like this for the matter of time I spent on some diddy shit. Like, you really on some diddy shit? Like, like diddy shit? Like, like diddy shit? Like, yeah. Like, like, why are you by the pool filming a whole grown ass man oh, just man. chilling, trying Too to hold off in the pool? Filming him, calling him daddy, bro. Saying, I love you, daddy. Putting in that work. I'm proud of you. I love you. You putting in that work. I'm proud of you. I love you. Like, Diddy is older than Meek Mill by gotta be a decade, at least. And you already know Meek Mill's from the trenches. This man's from Philly, probably uncomfortable as hell That's being called crazy. daddy by a whole grown ass man. Daddy but I'm not gonna lie, crazy, Meek Mill man. has been sus for a long ass time. With the audio that was leaked earlier this year with Meek Mill and Diddy. I mean, I was gonna make a video on it, but I wouldn't be surprised if Diddy calling Meek Mill daddy is a usual thing. Yo! Yo, yo, yo. Yo, 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 yo. Come on, man. Come on, man. Chill, gang, chill. What is going on, bro? Nah, bro. Ain't no way, bro. Audio, they got so they got audio of these two, bro. Is that really them, bro? Is it? Cause it's hard to believe, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. We gonna need some some visual proof. Like, no, no Diddy, no Diddy. But like, bro, come on, bro. Like, we can't really go off no audio, bro. People be lying about all type of shit. They got AI now. It's all type of shit going on. So, who really knows if that's, if that's them too for real, for real? But I, I ain't lying, bro. That's crazy, gang. Like. No way did he really one of those, bro. Bro, this he really part of Rainbow Gang. Like, that's crazy, bro. Dog, oh, man, bro. You may think this is AI, bro. But based on what I heard, this video audio came out way before this AI thing was even smart enough to replicate people's voices or tonalities. Believe what you will. I'm not here to convince anybody that that audio is real. But the fact that Meek Mill allowed Diddy to call yeah, him that's daddy crazy, he posted to his Instagram page for millions of people to see without even checking him is crazy. Like, bro, would you let a grown man call you daddy and then post it to the internet without, bro. like, saying, bro, what the... Nigga, what? Nah, bro. Here we have another video of Diddy with Justin Bieber when he was younger. And this one definitely this seems crazy, a little disturbing. Bro. What's up, man? You good? I'm good. How are you? Right, young brother, everything's good? Selling out arenas and everything? Starting to act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't... I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But... You, you never really got my number, so. Right, okay. My number? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. My number. yeah, 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 yeah. So clearly, young Justin, right? Brother, young, he had young Justin too, bro. Oh my gosh, dog. Man, bro, did he, bro? How many did, did how many men did he have in the industry, bro? Like he, bro, he don't care about age, he don't care about race, he don't care about, bro. He, oh my gosh, dog. This man, something is really wrong with Diddy, bro. He's on a generational run, literally, bro. Like, a generational run with every generation. Bro, Diddy would damn that talk to a five-year-old at this point. Five-year-old little boy, like, at this point. Because, like, what? Like, what are you doing? Man, he was incredibly scared. I mean, boy was out here stuttering like Adam Sandler in the Waterboy movie. Kid was out here stumbling and fumbling over his words like he didn't even know what the hell to say. Like, he was talking with a heart rate BPM of 140. Like, clearly, this young Justin back then was scared, anxious, nervous for whatever reason. I don't know. Maybe, Maybe he just ran blame? a marathon. Maybe he was trying to catch his breath. Maybe he was still camera shy despite being a multi millionaire who had millions of fans from all over the world and has been in many different music videos and has performed in front of hundreds of thousands of people. Maybe he still had a little anxiety. Who knows? But it would be hard to believe that uh, one of the world's most famous kids back then would have a hard time just spitting out a few sentences to a man he was supposedly familiar with. Here recently, I saw this clip that made me super uncomfortable, like... Mr. Lee, we'll yeah, I love this drink. Will you put my bag? I like yeah. when you like this, daddy. Yeah, will you put my bag? Oh, yeah, like when you so again, gang? 
Bro, at this point, he would call anybody, bro, what? Bro, he's saying that so, so normal, like it's just so normal to say to another man, bro. What the f- Scrambling and scraping for no, shit. No, 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 I, got I like that. Pause, bro. Pause. Oh. Scrambling and scraping for shit. You can literally see the face of everybody on this panel. Fabulous. The host. The man next to Diddy. The dude in the purple Lakers hoodie. Everybody's like, bro. bro I just did this, this nigga, bro. Why? Well, how did? How was this nigga, nigga able to get a fucking Lakers hoodie? This them bitches that you, the current Lakers players be wearing this shit, like. How is he able to get that? Who is that man, bro? What type of motion he got? This man got a Lakers fucking practice jacket on. Like, what? What the fuck? Daddy, I like when you scrambling and scraping. When you scrambling and scraping. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to go over with that one. Make a wish. Just blow it out. Your birthday every day. Every day's a birthday. Yo, drink nobody champs, reacting, though. I'm in. Yo, he... What the f The host of this Drink Champs podcast looked uncomfortable as hell. The fact that he was forced to blow out randomly as hell. Birthday cake candles. When did he approach them with it? Just shows you how... Pause. Oh, my... Bro. They got a lot of undercovers, bro. I promise they got a lot of undercovers, bro. That niggas don't be knowing about, bro. Like, why did he do the hand little flick like that? Like, he... Bro, ain't no way, bro. Bro, he definitely got diddled for sure, for sure. He got diddled, 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 like bad. Like his whole, his whole, like his his literal whole is is cruz. Like he got diddled, bro. He got diddled. It is what it is. But he was of Diddy and probably still is. Did you miss me though? Mm. For real, because we, I'm I saying, miss, it seems like a thing. I miss his birthday with party, Puff, man. Man, it's miss party, party your birthday. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I'm, I, we we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. And, mm. No, but we ain't like never that, really dude. party. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I, I, yeah, never really party. Like he had a birthday that Diddy pulled up to, but he never really partied party. with Diddy. Like, and there's a reason for that because he knows he what never, those parties. He never really partied. Oh, okay, well, I get it, Diddy. Brother, what the? F bro, you man, bro. Don't don't come near me, Diddy. I ain't gonna cap, bro. You come to me, I ain't lying. I might have to mm -hmm. come to me. I might have to Louisville Slugger. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to me, did you see? You see? You see this? You gon' you gonna be on the floor, bro? For real, for real. Like I ain't playing gang. Like for real, for real. Like I ain't playing gang. Like for real, for real. Tripping gang. Out your mind, boy. Hell no. Tail. He knows what that means. A deadly combination of KY jelly, a thousand baby bottles, and. Oh, 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 oh. A few months ago, I saw this clip that really caught Chill, my attention. Bro. Yo, stop bringing all the miners over here late at night. I live right next to him. He do too much. He be like, big ass buses, like big ass buses. You just see all type of shit hop out. Especially at night time, like around 3 o'clock in the morning. Bro, spilled the beans. Wild. I'm in favor. When my basketball go over there, I just let it be because I don't want to knock on the wall. My neighbor says to the press, tell Diddy to stop bringing all the minors over here. It gets crazy. 3 a.m. in the morning, that's when all the freaky shit happens. When I'm playing basketball, no when my basketball accidentally goes over the fence, I don't even want to knock on the door to go get it. I just let it be. Call it a loss, a tax write-off. Like, bro, when I saw oh. that clip, man, I was like, yo. Imagine being neighbors with Diddy, bro. And you know, Diddy like got a hundred different properties, man. Like, so I'm sure a lot of his neighbors have seen a lot of things and bro. were too afraid to speak up till now. On a side note, though, according to TMZ and many other outlets, Diddy actually wanted to propose a $50 million bail bond to the court just so that he can have some freedom while this entire case is going to be going forward. But apparently the judge on this case flat out denied it 50 million dollars citing Combs is facing up to life in prison on multiple charges oh. that include sex trafficking and racketeering Bruh. the 54 year old Look offered up. to post 50 million dollars bond give up his cell phone and internet access and restricting female visitors to family or mothers of his children had he been released bro. the multi-million dollar grammy one oh, <laughs> did he really cook bro he could so he will end up uh, 50, 50 mil just to erase all of that, bro. Like, 
I don't think that, bro. I don't think they gonna do nothing with Diddy, bro. This shit lasted for too long, bro. Like, I feel like Diddy just got way too many connections, but karma do catch up, though. Karma catch up, so I ain't lying, bro. He gonna definitely, bro. He he might get, bro. He, I don't know, bro. His life is cooked, bro. His life is literally cooked. Like once they get a hose to him, bro, he's literally cooked, bro. Like I don't, I don't know, bro. Ain't no way, son. That's crazy. We housed at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, New York, an overcrowded facility that has been described as disgusting and inhumane. Prosecutors argued Combs is a serial abuser who threatened and coerced women into performing sexual acts at events Combs that's, planned, that's which insane, he called bro. freak offs. But like I said freak at the beginning off. of this video, there is a lot that I can't talk about and that would just make this video way too long. I'm sure there are many other journalists and reporters out there who've already discussed it, so I don't need to go over all that stuff again. But do let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. This entire case is crazy, and yeah, I, I think this man is cooked. That being said, Literally. sub to the channel, like the video, of course, follow me on all platforms, and yeah. Until next time, everybody, stay safe out there. Bro, that, that is insane, dog. Man, bro, Diddy, you literally is cooked, gang. Like, man, bro. I don't even know. I'm like, I'm at a loss of words at this point, bro. I, yeah, I didn't talk about Diddy like three times in a row, bro. And nothing never changed. But, bro, just too deep in, bro. Like, you already did all these crazy crimes, bro. And you've been roaming freely, like, Bro, I just saw him recently at, like, this little college event. He was taking pictures with college students, bro. I'm like, bro, if somebody don't come get this nigga, dog, like, he literally roaming freely, bro. Like, I don't know, bro, but, man, bro, y'all just stay away from that, man, bro. Try not to get diddled.